Before on this channel, we talked about the detriments of family content, and I thought I found the worst of it all. But this week, I came across something that is total bullshit. As you can read oh, in the caption above, we're a family of six going on seven, living in a one-bedroom apartment. As the kids grow older, that means oh. we constantly have to adapt our environment to give them more means for privacy and extra space. When outside, our environment appears cluttered, six disorganized, people in a one you. Bedroom? But quite frankly, after making do for nearly three years now, I have nothing but a grateful spirit for the roof over our head. Generally, the instant judgment me and my husband receive, why have so many kids if you don't have enough space for them? See, my percent I, I'm pretty sure on like multiple like on on leases and stuff they actually have rules against having so many people Exception like there's a limit a of how of many people can be in a certain amount. When you've experienced amount. enough, you generally don't judge people. I can tell you after everything I've been through in the like past two years, there's very little I have, have to like judge five people. people. I would be lying if I said there wasn't a point in my three. life that I was so naive. And like I said, I have learned a lot. I generally look like I'm roughing it, but that's because our kids come first. I do everything I can to keep our environment clean and tidy. When it comes down to it, I could shove everything my kids have in one bedroom of some of these houses I see, and it would really look like nothing. We try to teach our kids to take care of what they have, be grateful for what we have, we keep praying and pushing for the growth that we want. Appreciate y'all watching. And see you in the next video. I did ask you like that one movie meme where Max enters the house and is like, damn, did you live like this? Because, damn, bitch, you live like this? Yo, Number for real? Four, the video. <laughs> I want to be clear. This is not an indictment on them and their financial situations. People are actually poor in America. They live below the poverty line and they have to make do with what they have. With that mm -hmm. being said, some of these people's actions, their That's logic, fact. their reasoning, and their justification as to continue the bullshit that they have going on is something that has to be talked about. This is the resilient Jenkins family, a family that doesn't deserve any bit of praise or recognition at all, but hey, we're going to cover them on this channel. Their family Damn. of six going on seven, the mother is pregnant with baby number five in this situation. Good and they Lord. live in a one bedroom apartment. And again, this is an indictment on the financial status of these people. It's their decision making and their choices. When I grew up, my mom told me the stories about how she and her siblings grew up in an apartment of one. She also has about four to five other siblings at this time. But the difference is her parents stayed in the living room and the kids got the bedroom with a bunch of different bunk beds. That's not the case in this situation. Mm. Both of them had kids outside of the relationship. They came together and started having more kids. The parents get to sleep in the room. The kids sleep out in the living room. The parents room has a whole TV, a PS5 and a regular bed and the kids have have foam mattresses on the kitchen floor that they have to share with cats and like that. Oh, that's the dad fucking does a crazy. Bunch of gig work and spends a bunch of time outside of the house. And that's going to come up later as to why that's important because it's just going to tell the tale of how much of a deadbeat he really is. And the mother is a stay at home mom for a bunch of poor excuses, but we'll get into those as oh well. Oh my gosh. Now they're both recovering addicts who met in some sort of rehabilitation center, but none of that stopped. Oh my. You never, you never, 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 never date someone you meet in rehab. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I've, I've never been in rehab. Today. I don't like, while she have has any the baby, like she that, is still actively like... taking drugs by her social media accounts. And two, there's nothing oh stopping gosh. her from doing any sort of work that would most definitely contribute to the house in a meaningful way. But instead, she spends her time, like all these family influencers do, begging people online in order to for pay for their lifestyle and make her some sort of mommy influencer. And I'm not a fan of this type of content at all, but the reality of it is, is that it exists. But the main oh, thing about this family sweater, content bro. is before anything, you have to take care of your actual family that's true absolutely baffles me that my beautiful kiddos haven't gone viral yet two years and counting babies we got this eventually mama will make our dreams happen i'm making changes to help our account if i consistently see you in the views of my videos and not supporting you won't have access to our account any longer and i can't grow my goal is to grow, and I can't do that without the support of the viewers. <sighs> it's people like this that piss me off, bro. It's people like this that piss me off. They don't deserve any recognition because, like, bro, it's like the support of the viewers is them watching. Believe it or not, people giving you views is more support than if they were to just give you money and not ever come watch your content. Because the more people watch your shit, the more your face gets out there, you get more recognition, and you, you become a, a, a content creator that people know. And then the people who wanna donate and sub and stuff like that, they come. But you can't just right off the bat just be asking for this shit, bro. E-begging has to be looked into, bro. Seriously. I'm not like you other girls. I'm 
TikTok algorithm be worse than W two in with them low life coworkers. Oh shit! You watch, get all the credit because tell me why I have crap views and better content than half this app. There's the problem. There's the problem, actually. That's the reason why you have shit views because you have this mindset that your content is better than everybody. You know what's crazy? The people who are the most successful. Oh, well, okay, but this is this is not a generalized statement because there are some not like cocky ass famous people. But a lot of the people who are very successful are very humble about the content they make and they don't go around saying, "Oh yeah, my content is better than half the app." They just, "Yo, I really appreciate you coming to see my shit." I'm the same way, bro. That's what I said in my "Don't be afraid to be seen trying" video. Is what it is, bro. And if you're making entertaining and engaging content consistently, for sure, most people are going to make you some sort of influencer. But it's not something that you beg your way to being. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe in 2024, it's different. But this woman is so against the idea of working that even if it comes at the risk of harming her kids in the household, she is willing to not do it in the search and host for social media clout and fame. I'll be fine. I'm completely and utterly fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Kids. I'm always fine. Don't Kids, cats. Skid affection other than to rehome the animal to something more financially able to handle it. Why do I have to take my babies? Baby, I really don't want to. You know that? What? Remember what I said here. The cat has a skin infection and the cat is sleeping with these young babies that are susceptible to being sick and have a weaker immune system than adults. All this could be mitigated if they just decided to change their lifestyles up by having the parents be out in the living room or hell, give away the cat. But no, the parents live a life of luxury. I, I know that's strange to say in this regard. <laughs> they're in their room comfortable with a television and a bed and a PlayStation 5. Wow, the actual bedroom looks better than the whole house. <laughs> this is nuts. The bedroom looks better than the whole house. Dad takes his evening off in 150 plus days so him and the kids have a gaming sesh. Takes his first evening off. The kids do have a PS4. They just they like watching that play. They just had a small amount of kids, but now they continue to keep growing, keep smashing, and keep making this some sort of game on TikTok by saying, hey, if you make me an influencer, I'll give my hubby another kid. It's actually disgusting work. But That's, the problem that is, is they can't nasty control work, the bro. outbreaks that are happening in their own damn home. They have months of lice and fleas to the point where it was uncontrollable. And prolonged lice and flea outbreaks in homes can be detrimental to the long-term health of kids. We're talking... And they didn't do anything about this? Like the health inspector didn't come through for this shit? I know it's not a business, but like, damn. We're talking about the psychological. We're talking about diseases. We're talking about infections being passed along. This isn't the New York City streets. This is a damn home. It's supposed to be somebody's comfort, somebody's protection. But you can't even get it under control. At least alleviate some of the problems by putting your kids in the damn room and you sleep out there with the cats since you decided that you need to have them. Now you listen here, you walking. Rip to my hair. This is the damage done after having to treat it for lice for months on end that comb is terrible on your hair panic attack you're gonna inhale exhale your way through this bullshit if it's the last thing you do it's not the your comb it's still the... your mind hates you but you're the reason why i hate this family content is because it's putting to the side the safety health and well-being of the kids in order to make CPS, some sort of please. influence out of the mom and i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know how this drug addict deadbeat father etc etc is supposed to make good content but that's the hope and prayer for them by mom sitting on live begging for people to follow her begging for people to basically build their lifestyle all day and all night yo there's only 92 days till christmas i had a goal to go viral before christmas and maybe even make some extra funds to give my kids a christmas the countdown is so fast as a parent oh my god this this is just When the song come on, let me see you Help get a girl down. out. My hubby said if we can flip our financial position, this doesn't have to be our last baby. I'm really not ready to stop having babies yet. You should! You have no money to be having this much kids. This many kids.
You should stop. Now. At some point, CBS should step in because this is a person Please. who does not take the health and well-being of her kids and her family very seriously. When she does decide to get pregnant, I think she should stop having babies as a whole. She doesn't yes. even listen to the doctors recommend that she doesn't do certain things to avoid complications with the pregnancy. I have no idea how far along pregnant. Far enough along that the nausea is at its peak, though. So that makes me think I'm about seven, eight weeks-ish. So this will be my sixth time being pregnant. I've had two miscarriages three babies and this is number six so we're gonna find out we're praying for the best of course we're believing for the best regardless i find it goofy that when you're into your life bro you're you're oh my gosh your stomach has had enough like third fourth time in a row they really should not be getting so many questions by the doctors or like you know we highly recommend you don't mess with the cat box can you recommend to my cats they don't shit then <laughs> that would be great <laughs> stay away from too many herbal teas i'm gonna drink my teas thank you i'm not a doctor okay and then when your babies come out being fucking dumbasses don't be mad at the fucking doctors or like don't be mad at the kids don't be mad at the doctors because they try to fucking warn you through it all but i think that maybe there's some sort of connection to the habits that you have you know the continued drug use the kitty litter use you know the disgusting conditions that you have in your household could probably be linking to some of these miscarriages or complications that you're having with your pregnancy i don't know i I don't know. I, I may be jumping out the window with that one. I don't know. I don't the internet know. is trying to decide whose fault this really is in the grand matter of things. But ultimately, I'm here to squash all conversations. It is both parents' faults. And then there's a third party involved that people aren't necessarily thinking about that could be at fault here. And I'm here to say, yes, you, the people that are consuming this content, engaging and ultimately donating, are involved in being complicit and enabling the behavior that they are displaying mm -hmm. on the internet. I saw just the other day that somebody sent the kids some bunk bags. Kudos to them. But damn, do not give them an out. Do not give them some sort of way to get out of working hard and providing for their kids. And it wouldn't even be hard work. Woman, just get a job. So I decided to look up everything in regards to the whole the resilient um, Jenkins family in Oregon and Portland okay. and their standards of stuff of care and everything which you're supposed to. Off the bat, each child is supposed to have their own bed and own mattress that is adequate for their size. That's just the standard. That's just what they they want. And when it comes to housing, usually it's supposed to be two per room. So in their case, you can if the that's child, what I said, child two is per like room. You have so I was like, a, them, but if not, because okay, they can kind of sleep with their parents. It's supposed to be two per room. There's three kids. One of the children is not related to the other children, which I think that comes into bed sharing. So there would need to have at least two rooms for the kids, essentially. Mm -hmm. But being that they're going to add more children in, they're going to grow up, they're going to need at least a three bedroom. 100%. Like, there's no way around that. And also, there's a way for the parents to have a room as well, because that is obviously extremely important to the parent to have their privacy. But it's not. But anyway, each child must have their own bed they cannot bed share with someone that they are not related to so no the rolled up foam mattresses that come into play and come out of play during the day is not up to standard i don't know if the apartment complex could get in trouble for this or the parents could get in trouble for it but it is in violation also i looked up if there is a program because here in north carolina there is one in certain counties where people will donate a bed to you with bed framing and i think a mattress as well for That's a crazy. child free to the parent no cost to any you know anything they do that in Oregon, I did look it up. They do that in Portland specifically. I looked that wow, up as well. So for the fathers to say that they don't have beds because they broke them, I can see where people are saying the financial literacy is not there. The irresponsibility is, is there because as a parent, I'm a parent of three boys. They have broke their beds several times. I have replaced them several times. Mm -hmm. That's just that. That's the law. And there is no excuse for them not to have replaced their beds. Yes, they broke them, but guess what? You still have to replace them because you're a parent. Exactly. Children are expensive. It's called responsibility, bro. Don't have kids if you don't want you to know, take responsibility for them list, they put a toddler bump bed you know up there someone did purchase it that's great but that's only for two of the four children that you have why didn't you put two bunk beds up there why haven't you looked into programs of replacing your children's beds if you cannot afford it now she did bring up a couple of good points and i did want to address some of them for one even though you are potentially close to meeting the standards that portland sets out for housing children that doesn't take into consideration that you are bringing in prolonged health risks into their lives by having the cat urine be all over the place by having the lice infestation and flea infestation and by also having moldy yes, laundry be in the house for long 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 periods of time that's moldy laundry flip
please don't tell me that's the front door and they couldn't open the door all the way for however long she had these boxes here. Ended tossing my favorite jeggings I had since I was 17, girl. That is the front Second door. All, it is amazing the fact that there are so many government programs, communal assistance. Hell, even churches and schools like provide these different incentives and programs for people to take advantage of. She can go to like the Goodwill and get a bed frame or the Salvation Army and get some bedding for little to no money. But these people don't take any advantage of that. Why? Because I think that they think it is cool to film this type of situation to put it on social media in order to trick people into believing that they are in more help or more need than they actually are in. And then they can get the sympathy and the pity that turns into views and turns into dollars and then third but certainly not least these Shit kids crazy. do need their own bed i can't stress this enough because there's a video out there running around of the dad saying well they broke their bed so as a punishment they have to go without beds no, no that's, that's crazy, not how bro. that works especially when you have a bed kids do things they damage things they harm things this is a basic necessity for them to live in the usa and to act as if this is something that could potentially come up out of their pockets and i'm talking about the parents is crazy because like state earlier you could just go down to the salvation army and get you a damn bed but what they're That's hoping true. for is that she'll make an amazon wish list people will provide her with the things that she wants and needs and desires and everything will be taken care of and nobody really gives a shit now i would be remiss if i didn't talk That's about really that stupid. in this situation because he is just as much if not even more of a player in how bad the living conditions are than the mom is i don't know his name i don't know anything about him i just know two things he's a deadbeat who doesn't want to work and the reason why he's a deadbeat is because it has been discovered that he has a whole nother child out there Hi, oh, I'm the shit. first baby mama. I'm absolutely <laughs> embarrassed at the fact that that's my sperm donor. I will not be posting my child on here, but my son is almost 12. That man that everybody's saying they have two loving parents walked out of his son's life when he was two. Hasn't seen mm. his son since he was five, and that's because I reached out to him to come to his kindergarten graduation. And at the time, he only had one child, which was little black boy you guys see in his videos that's my oldest's little brother now my oldest damn doesn't even know he has two other siblings so no they didn't meet when he had one child he probably has more he hasn't paid child support but he has a ps5 i feel bad for those kids because i never not wanted my son to not know his dad and he's asked and i've tried even his son asked mommy I just want to know my dad. Why can't I see my dad? When that happened, I reached out to him. He read the message, never replied. So I had The fact that this shit just be happening is just... <sighs> Debbie Dads is ridiculous, bro. You chose to have a kid, bro. You chose this. You chose to have a kid, bro. The kid didn't ask you to, to create it. That's just so my son encountered sad, bro. just because lie, bro. I knew it was bothering him and there was nothing that I could say that was going to help him. I just told him your dad made choices and he chose to make those choices. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with you. I have the one other child, uh, Anthony. Um, I've been paying child support via garnishments ever since I can remember. And I worked every Via garnishments? Nigga, this is a... Since I was okay. 18, 19, worked night, multiple jobs, <laughs> never made above 22 an hour. Or jobs that worked your body to the bone. Yeah, I worked retail, I worked overnight, I worked at Home Depot. Work you to the bone, this nigga says, yep, I worked retail. As someone who worked multiple retail jobs, nigga, it's, it's not to the bone, bro. Let's be real. Let's Jackson, be real, bro. It's I not to the bone. Outlet. Now, naturally, because the dad is getting defamed in this situation for having a secret child that it he's can not be involved physically in, physically annoying he had to and respond, physically taxing, but it's not to the bone. Help any situation. He's basically avoiding W two jobs. And he keeps referring them to as W two jobs, which only the people that know why somebody referred to them as W two jobs would know why he's referring to it as W two jobs is because he is avoiding his wage 
change is being garnished by the government for the child support that is owed. He comes up and admits that, but these people blow my mind because they are so baffled. And some of the internet is baffled as to why they are receiving such harsh criticisms. And it's not because they're poor. It's because they are intentionally neglectful of their responsibilities because they feel as if this is going to make the best story and best entertainment for the internet. I think this is one of the more extreme examples of the situation at hand. But to be honest with you, the way that people use their kids as props for the internet, public humiliation, trying to get clout, trying to get famous is actually disgusting. <laughs> My daughter cut whoa 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 my daughter cut her second period oh math class with two of her friends so you're taking her bed away but there is more like having to wear this one outfit for the next two days including a shirt that says i skipped math class math class can't help myself could have been more low. i don't know if any of y'all have seen this viral video but you know, everybody parents different to each his own, right? But in my opinion, I think what he chose to do for his daughter's punishment was entirely too extreme. That is too much. Like, I think he could have just did the whole outfit thing and that been that. Bro took all her stuff out of her room and everything like that because she skipped a class. And yeah, by that's the looks fucking of it, wild. I know the whole world has skipped class before. I know it. So it's like, you not have me. to give I'm a not going to lie, I've never skipped class. I mean, honestly, I take... Have I ever skipped class? No, no. <laughs> I've actually never skipped class. That matches the crime. You I know would just not go to like school if I wanted to. Nowadays, do not know? be understanding that that is how you drive your child away. We have to break generational curses. Skipped school completely, but I've never skipped class. That treats their kid like this and punishes their child in a certain way. That's how. Like if I'm at school, I'm going to the class. Or don't want to be whatever. I'm not gonna and maybe this be is in school and skip the way class. of relating to their kids more. But honestly, it comes <laughs> off as downright disgusting, and it has no place to be on the internet, especially because they don't think of the long-term ramifications as to what happens when they have this internet documentation of the events that happened in their home. What exactly. happened when the internet saw me grow up with lice for the past five or 10 years of my life? What happens when the internet is calling me one bedroom cat piss boy? They don't think about those yep. things that have happened. But we now have proof and evidence because the internet and some of these things have been around for so long of kids speaking up as to what happened when the cameras were off the small times that they were and what happens when they grew up in these situations. The first round of vlogger kids from the 2010s have grown up and are sharing their oh, stories. Shit. Let's talk about one story she said that the mom broadcasted her first menstrual cycle the kid got into a car accident and instead of the mom comforting the kid like oh baby it's gonna be all right the mom put a camera <gasps> in wait no i thought it was a her face the kid said it got so bad that when she there was this thing where this lady i think the kids like pet died or some shit and he was like actually sad and she was like post for the camera make a face make a face that you're sad I was like, bro, what the fuck? She was 12 years old. A man that was stalking her based off of her mom's YouTube videos decided to message her oh on Facebook gosh. and follow her home at one point in time. The kid would hide in the bathroom to avoid being videotaped and photographed. The kid was also bullied at school because their intimate moments were posted on the mom's YouTube for their family vlog. Insane. The kid got a staph infection at one point in time and Ooh. the mom exaggerated the condition so bad that the math teacher who was watching the mom's videos told the kids to, quote, stay away from the infected girl girl and that ain't it the kid is saying this is a digital footprint that she did not create and is following her around for the rest of her life and that is why she is fighting and seeking laws similar to the ones that govern child actors see and this is why if i ever have kids i'm gonna i'm gonna take the dante route and just like not even show the dude i'm not even gonna show my kid's face like if, if i want to take if i want to put pictures of my kid on social media you're never gonna see his face yeah you, you're never gonna see their face bro you're going to see the back of their head, <laughs> the clothes, the, the fit they wear, but never their face, bro. Because I, I don't know if he's ever shown Demir's face for real. But, like, that's why I'm like, I, I wouldn't ever do that, bro. One, for just compensation and to protect them as well. This is why we keep saying y'all need to stop pimping y'all's kids out. Because they're going to grow up and go on CNN and talk shit about you. Put the camera down. I'm not going to show you as if content creation isn't a very lucrative avenue. Now, granted, I'm not there. But there are content creators like Kai Sinat, I Show Speed, The Phase Collective that make millions of dollars on a monthly basis based off of just showing their daily life. Casey Neistat is another one who 
went about vlogging his family for years and was able to become a millionaire based off of content creation. But the thing is, you have to show parts of your life and these people don't realize that you can show how much of a nasty person it is when you can or can't pimp out your kids based mm -hmm. off of the ability to make content. If you're yep. making your family decisions based upon the content, then that's where I think a lot of people are going wrong in these situations. We are now let me go ahead and uh expound upon what i'm saying that's why i said i was gonna take the the dante route i'm not saying that if you show your kids it's a bad idea but like how do i how do i say this making the content based on your kids like who did that shit i think it was the ace family terrible um but if you just like show your kids in a few vlogs and y'all y'all doing like family trip or some shit there's nothing wrong with that but showing your kid crying because his pet just died or 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 showing her first period your daughter's first period it's like nigga like this not there's some shits you don't adopting from thailand Whoa. sorry yeah well, we are still adopting we're just not adopting from thailand anymore so you want to explain why so um Here's the, here's the situation. Thailand has a, its own law that's unique to it that um, after you, are, you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Nikki's got a YouTube. Bitch, you can't just wait a fucking year? You can't just wait a fucking year? You can't only share a whole lot. Wait, it's... hold on, hold on, hold on. When that hit, we literally were like, yeah. What? So you're telling me you couldn't put aside the content for a year. And I'm not even talking about totally putting aside the content. I just mean this one aspect it? of your life. You couldn't not talk about that for one year and help somebody who is potentially in need because fame, clout, and wanted to be somebody that's bigger than what you are. That, that is so... That's ridiculous. It's, it's I talk about it on this channel. CJ so work. cool. Allegedly not going CJ broke so cool. from his channel. He doesn't even post on the main channel anymore that has 9 million subscribers. But the reason why is because his content was so revolved around the kids that when the kids were no longer in the situation, nobody wanted to be around him. Nobody wanted to watch the videos anymore. He couldn't create content based off of his own personality. CJ so cool. Like fell off bad because after him and royalty had got into it or whatever um, about the kid, which was really his main source, his only income, literally. So if somebody takes the kids away from me, they automatically take over 70. See, and this is why I, I, I'm like super grateful for all the people who watch me and rock with my my personality through these reactions, because like, bro, when like CJ so cool didn't have a personality. It was just about his kids. 5% of your income from you, which you are used to making. That's first of all. Second of all, if you turn around and then you start getting loans on money that's not there and you're not good with money management, you're going to automatically fall off. You know what I mean? That's the reason why I fell off real bad. But not just the loans on a channel based off of his family's endeavors, but when the people remove the family from the Do aspect, we really? you have nothing. 70% <laughs> so. of your income is tied up in that the family. It's just insane. Right. But that is basically what the Resilient Jenkins and any of these content creators are doing. And it's not just just the income impacts that I'm trying to get across to people. It's the emotional and psychological damage that can be caused upon these kids that should be taken into consideration as to why you should not be doing this. Oftentimes, it damages relationships between the parent and the kid. And I can acknowledge when there have been good situations where parent and kid have made up because parent has acknowledged what happens in the kid's earlier life and apologizes. Absolutely, baby. When my mom found out she was not playing all that shit, she truly wasn't. And she made amends. My mama completely did different content that was not tailored around her kids. She moved on. But a lot of these parents don't get to this point because they are blinded by the finances that they have for this short amount of time. Okay. Like I think content creation is very liberating. I think that it can bring another income stream to your household. It can fulfill your wildest dreams. However, I think that there's a give and a take, especially when you put your life out there like that. And these people that are willing to subject their kids to even a worse standards than they need to be to create content should honestly have CPS called and involved immediately. Literally. Not only is it not fulfilling their wildest wildest dreams I, I guess a bunk better too is their wildest dreams which is insane but it's also damaging the kids in the long run this is the worst family channel i've ever seen in my life yeah man that that, that shit is insanity dude hopefully they they stop getting attention bro because this shit is just disgusting